Thing at the moment, won it down decisively. Runs on laser tackle. Gardner though comes away with a footy, lobs it towards the pocket. Austin heads for the boundary line, takes it out. Just looking at the time played by the big guy Cruiser. In the first term, he played 13 minutes. He's now up to 34 for the game. Eight possessions. This has been a terrific effort in the second term. He's been a catalyst. There he is again, putting pressure on with speed. Del Santo did nicely. Milne pulls it back. Missed by Stevens. Revolt outmaneuvered this time. Could have almost been a free kick to Bauer. Stevens tackles McAvoy. Blake gets a hand pass towards goal. Revolt! Almost something out of nothing behind. Well, he didn't have to make something out of nothing for most of the first half, has he? But because he's had that space and he's had that time and St Kilda have had that midfield dominance, but Carlton's work rate have got them back in this match. Carlton's work rate have got them the last five goals of the game. Well, it's been a pulsating opening half. Oh, so I guess you'll be, you'll be hoping that for Bowler, I mean, he's Hudson has been his... Maybe he's acknowledged as one of his stiffs to be able to post. His team's going OK. If a bowler can join in the party, then they've really got a chance. Well, Lee, if I said at the start of the match that Fed wouldn't have a goal and they'd be within three points at half-time, you'd say that would do, wouldn't you? Yep. Betts, good mark. Hello. Well, what a remarkable comeback here by the Blues. Trailed for... Much of the first half by four to five goals. You've got to feel silly if you hold the ball up and the siren goes. <laughs> you've achieved your, your aim if you've that happens to you. <laughs> it's, it's intense footy. Mm. Terrific stuff. Huge crowd, jam-packed at Eddie Hart Stadium, and we've seen a bit of everything in that opening half. The skill of the Saints and... The power of the Blues coming back. So at half time on Friday Night Footy, it's 59 to 56. Friday Night Football, Etihad Stadium. Vast crowd. Standing room only, I think, as of yesterday. <coughs> Away we go. Saints by three points being challenged. Got hard to Hayes. Hayes floats one towards half forward. It was tough. Play on's the call. Austin must have heard it. I did. Line. Touched off the boot. Touched off the boot. Thank you. Good common sense decision. Yes, nothing wrong with that. Players always get the benefit of the doubt in that situation. Cruiser has started on the ground this time. His influence not to be denied in that second term. It spills wide to another man who was terrific after quarter time. That Simpson floats one out towards the boundary. Betts, Simpson, Carrazzo. Very high ball to the wing. Cleared the two players who came at it. Blake gave it to Hayes. Now Gardner back to Hayes, running down towards half forward. Revolt stretches over his head. Pyrrhic victory right there, coming through Bauer, worked a little one-two with his teammate Brig. now it's in the hands of Gibbs, who comes out wide for Bowler, being tracked by two, gets back through them, they were a little lackluster, Hudson better at the second attempt, smothered the kick, Favola tried to go off the ground, Hudson to Gilbert, taken by Gardner, Fisher, not a good kick by Hayes. Well trapped though by Schneider. Del Santo can go long to the square. Decides to get him on Tanya. Didn't work it too well or did they? Montagna spotted Revolt. Had to wait an eternity. Chance for Graham. Well Carlton Bannister gets back. To Stevens. He was one of a number of Blues who really lifted in the second half of that second term. Cruiser was terrific. That's a wobbly kick, and Houlihan can't get to the contest. And Gilbert, who's playing loose in defence, takes the mark. Both teams started this second half with a couple of Lucy's down back. Oh, Brown takes a beauty on that Santo. They really chewed the ball up early this quarter, St Kilda. They've had the opportunity to go forward three or four times, and uh, there have been errant passes that have cost them. Gibbs, good kick to Carazzo, kick to go in the opening half around his body. Now, it happens at centre half forward. Favola's just outside of Carazzo. He has to get in there. Betts 
He's got him. Maybe not create the space. <laughs> So Betts, who's seven goals, two from set shots this year. Good spice. He had to set it up then, uh, Caracho. If he kicked the ball in long, St Kilda had the hall, all the height in around the goal square. So that little uh, precise set-up kick had to be on. So this to put the Blues in front. And this will get the crowd going if he can kick it. It's coming back. It was a strange oh. kick off the boot, wasn't it? It was. Boy from West Perth can take a hang. Brown. Put it right there. Del Santo. They've got the spare man just inside the defensive 50. That's Ray. Comes back to the goal square. Graham. Now, uh, Graham can come up the middle. I think Dawson, a bit oblivious to that, hasn't turned yet. Now he does, but there's a man on him. Not sure what Dawson was thinking about. Meantime, Graham, Hudson, Gilbert. Beats a hasty retreat. Goes across the ground. Ray involved moments ago. Goes very wide, Montagna, in an awkward situation. Played it brilliantly. Comes away, Montagna. Used his body to shield the ball. Goes down to the pocket. Kozetsky with Jamison falling over. You've got to think that, uh, well, you've got to say that Jamison's played a very important role, a very good role, but Lee Montagna is just, uh, he hasn't yet been an All-Australian, but the way he's going this year will be his first. So the Saints pressing here. No reward on the board so far for either team in the second half. Betts has shot a moment ago, the lone score. Cruiser lays it down. Austin and Judd bump one another over. Judd to Cruiser on the left. Well, oh. it's a good result, isn't it? Bauer and then quickly playing on. Joseph away. A bit of an up and under kick to centre wing. Well done by Graham. He was terrific in the first quarter. Bannis has got the job on him. Still with Graham. Now a chance. Hayes can attack here. Little one to Revolt. Got him. Well, this is just the sort of play that you'd love the captain to have. Kick have a the look goal. at Gilbert's hit here. He came from 25 metres away. Uh, we saw Bannister trailing Graham in. He came from 25 metres away to take him off his hammer, providing with some time and space for St Kilda to go forward. Well, Revolt talked about them being a real team, didn't he, in the paper today? And that's real team footy, and that's a very, very good kick that's gone all the way for fourth goal, well, I think. It's one or the other. Okay, we'll clear then. We call that. Revolt's goal. He's coming off now. It's a nice kick. It's amazing, isn't it? Sometimes when and Judd there's got the got the blue coming off the blood rule, but when uh, a player has to kick through the footy, Revolt had to really unload. Uh, so he didn't steer it, uh, but timed it well. Kicked the ball about 51 metres, and he needed that last half metre. Juddy's uh, nose didn't look real straight either. No, it happened when he ran into a teammate, I think. Gee, I've got a sense of deja vu looking at that nose. <laughs> it's all come flooding back to me. Poor old Juddy. So do I. Yeah, that's gone a little bit left. My excuse is, mine is like it is after it's been fixed. That can't be good. Rucks go at it, knocked down by Gardner. Del Santo, Hayes, slips a hand pass away. Jones, Jones kicks down towards half forward. Gardner getting away from Cruiser this time. So, top of the table being challenged, but they've got the last goal. It was an important one. They've still not surrendered the lead. Not 15, Gilbert Cruiser, so nimble. Went from the mark to apply the tackle. Hand pass comes to ball from Del Santo. Can he clear the man? No, he can't. Austin gets back. Carrazzo is breaking. Needs to be precise, and he was. They've got two on one. Murphy pushing up the ground. That's ignored on the outer side. They come back across goal. Bauer's got it. So Bauer to Grigg. Chancing his arm. Bauer now running. 
Not much onto the outer side. Again, precision required.